Hi, I'm Nicole Kimmel. I'm the Aquatic Invasive Species Specialist for Alberta Environment and Parks, and we're here at Lake Isle today to do some response work on flowering rush. Uh, we're proceeding this year with a large-scale herbicide application because the stands of flowering rush have gotten so bad that um, we're looking at over 22 kilometers of shoreline affected by flowering rush. The impacts of flowering rush are quite obvious once you're here and you can see firsthand. Um, so it outcompetes all the native vegetation, occupies the open water that's important to our spawning for fish, and uh, really just to impacts the recreational access as well as fish and wildlife access to the lake. Prior to deciding to do a herbicide treatment, we did explore non-chemical response options like hand pulling and digging. Uh, those are quite labor intensive and actually do uh, pose the risk of breaking off fragments of the plant and that can float downstream and start new populations. So we went with herbicide because herbicide can be uh, very low impact to the plant. We can apply from quite far away and we can do large tracks uh, in a day and it's quite effective. The herbicide we're using at Lake Isle today for the control of flowering rush is Habitat Aqua. It's newly registered after a, an extensive review of proving that it is safe for anyone that may encounter it, uh, as long as we're following label restrictions. Uh, so we can swim and drink from the, the lake uh, soon after application because there is no restrictions. The only restriction uh, that appears on the label is with irrigation. So if we were to apply the herbicide to the lake and someone was to pull that water in to pipes and use it for irrigation, the herbicide would be still effective uh, in that transfer and it could kill plants elsewhere through that irrigation process. Uh, this project has been a long time in the making and we've had great support from a lot of local community groups like uh, both counties, the County of Lac St. Anne, Parkland County, as well as LILSA, the Aquatic Association located here at the lake. Uh, the Lutheran Camp has been a great advocate for us, as well as uh, the First Nation groups around the, the community. 